So I'm Matt Jorgensen. Some people call me Sweets. Uh, that's where the name of the company comes from. Um, Kendama is a toy that is very, very old. It's a 200-year-old toy that the Japanese created. Uh, my company is just the first in the United States, or one of the first, uh, to try and sell them here, to market them to kids. Most people in the United States have no idea that this toy even exists. Uh, most people, uh, when they see it for the first time, they are very excited or they're inquisitive. They're never like standoffish to the kendama, and that's why it's a very intriguing toy for social matters, because you can meet someone very easily and be a friend instantaneously through kendama. Um, I found the kendama through a ski video. I've snowboarded my whole life and I was watching a video of a bunch of skiers who were in Japan and they uh, found this toy. People play it on the streets and stuff and so they found it and were like, well, well, let's play with this. Let's put it in our ski video. And so they did and I was watching it and I was amazed. I was like, what is this toy? Like they all look like they're having so much fun and I've never even seen it in my life. I grew up being a juggler and a yo-yo player and so I see something cool and fun to play with. I want to do it. And uh, I did some research uh, on the internet and no one sold kendamas. Not one person in the United States. There was one company and they just weren't very active. And so uh, I bought some kendamas from Japan, uh, straight from Japan, and it cost more to ship them than the kendama actually cost. And so that automatically was like, I can't keep doing this, you know. Uh, but I bought it and my 21, 22 year old friends all wanted to play with it as well. And so I started buying them from Japan and selling them to my friends. And uh, after a little bit, uh, I wasn't making any money and I was doing a lot of work and uh, I was just about to graduate from college and a bunch of uh, wires just connected at one. And I was just like, well, let's just try to do it ourselves. Let's create a Kendama brand. Let's find someone who can create, a, create them for us. And, we'll start selling them here in the United States. And that's where it all started, I guess, is from the, watching that ski video and just believing that we could bring Kendama to the United States and make it the next yo-yo or the next hacky sack or anything. There's so much fun and you, have, you can do so many different tricks and you can play forever. I've been playing for four years and I wake up every day and I pick up my Kendama and I practice an hour or two or three a day because I love it and you can never be perfect at Kendama, you can only get better and so it's, a, it's just a wonderful toy.